out here in Logandale, Nevada. And this spot just kind of looks like a dump here. But this is where uh, my brother-in-law's, his family's house used to sit right here somewhere on this property. You're walking over here, you can see pieces of the foundation that are pushed up in this dirt. So the concrete, but for whatever reason, they took out this house. So we're just going to now protect a little and just see what's out here. I was interested kind of to see uh, one of the founding families of this valley. So he used to own all this land. I wish they owned all this land still. I'd have a lot of fun metal detecting. But anyway, we're going to check it out. So we'll get back to you with the first target we find. All right, guys, we have a high 2030. I'm guessing this is a copper fitting or copper tubing of some sort. Aluminum. That's not copper. That is giving a big, uh, big old reading for whatever reason. I don't know what that's off. It looks probably an appliance or something. It's kind of turned into a dump area, so I have a bad feeling. We're going to find a lot of just cans and stuff, cans and garbage, it's been so much. There's a couple areas out here I'm going to try to get some permissions for that had some old houses on that burned down, but maybe we'll go by the railroad a little closer. Alright guys, I thought this was a rock, but this is my target here that I'm looking at. Now that I look at it a little closer and flip it upside down, looks like an old interior doorknob crushed. An old handle. We're going to take it home and clean it up and see uh, what we got. It's pretty heavy, but it's full of dirt too, so. There it is, guys, out of the hole. The soda can. Oh well, our beer can. Anyway, we'll keep going. See if we can plant something that's not a beer can. Alright guys, as you can see, we gave up on that spot. We moved over to the little park in town here. We got a 2930. We're gonna try to fish out. Something like some monetary value out of this trip. There we go. There's a target right there. There's some dry ground. Oh, there's metal on metal. I hear him. There he is. We've got ourselves a state quarter. First coin of the day. Alright guys, we got a high 20s around here. Hopefully we're going to have a quarter. There we go. I was going to say they're going to subscribe. I don't know. I don't know if the youth of today have the patience to metal protect. Either way, we got our quarter. We are good to go. At Logandale Skate Park. Oh, we got some new subscribers here. Alright guys. Like and subscribe the video or else you will trip and break your back. <laughs> All right, guys, we found this battery pack here just a second ago. I was chatting with one of the kids out here. Get some questions. So I forgot to hit record. All right, guys, we got mid-20s here. We got left of a vape methyl lawnmower. So always a good signal, good sounding signal. No, no, it's a good signal. No one will probably find the other half of it here somewhere. That might be. Yeah, we might as well recover the other half. There he is. Dissected vape. All right, guys. Got one in the parking lot right here. It's pretty packed. Got a supporter, so it's 
wrap note, we're probably going to find another uh, park to hit on the way into town. There's park number two. Alright guys, you're not going to believe this. No, I did not dig this. You made it to high 20s there, I just kind of knocked it. There's a ring sitting right on the top. That's a monster ring. Can't see any markings or anything in it. Inside, but we'll clean it up. We'll take it. That's probably, uh, probably maybe silver. I don't know. Definitely clean it up and see how it looks after. But he got us a ring. I guess. We got a twenty-nine thirty right here. We all generally know what that is. Yeah, uh, it's up there on top. I could just brush a little. There he is. It's Dakota. It's a state one. But this could actually be not a bad park here. We can just stay away from the uh, cell phone tower. We'll be good. Finding good targets. There's another mid to high 20, so let's just keep going. I see a zipper pole here on the surface. That's going to definitely give us a high signal. I see a lot of those foil, uh, the foil. Oh, there you go. It's something like that. Let's lift it up. Yeah. Definitely got some alloy to it. Silver coated or something that's been smacked by maybe me. That's a pretty fresh crack. Either way, we got ring number two. We are gonna keep going. Go back to the next uh, target. Alright, guys, this is a low 20. Probably a bottle cap. Oh no. Nickel. So it was just high enough to hit that little higher tone. Or not a nickel, a dime. Sorry guys. Oh, 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 oh. What do you got there? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, we got another ring. It says lucky. But it is anything but lucky. Looks like it has a little writing or something in there. Came up in the silver range. I don't know, probably brass. Man, three rings in a few minutes. Not too shabby, guys. Alright, we'll get it in the pouch and keep going. Alright, guys, another uh, mid 20s here. Oh, nope, we just scooted them across. Got our dime. We like these targets. Gonna spend some time here picking this apart. Another uh, mid uh, mid to high twenties. Yeah, there's only this hole here. <laughs> so I don't know if someone tried to excavate something, oh, or if someone buried something. <laughs> Another silver ring, man. We're going for the record today. It's four. My record is five. I've only been here a few minutes. We can straighten that out. Looks like that says 925 on the inside, guys. Get that put in the jar. Not a very big ring, but pretty stone in there. Kind of a pink color. It's just right next to that ring. I actually heard this one when I uh, put down my detector to go with that ring. Let's get this on. This is a High 20s, low 30s. Yes, in Corda. We are right. We like this park. 1989. Spread Eagle. 
Keep it in the pouch and keep going. All right, guys. We're tied for the day. Right there on the top. Look at that. It might be gold, but I doubt it. Oh, no. It's brass. It's a... Uh, some kind of coating. Who cares though? It's ring number five already. I got all sorts of high tones like this, so we'll be back. We're gonna uh, throw this on our drone and keep going. I was doing pull tab work, but it was a nickel. I'm docking in it. Having a good one here. Keep going. Mid 20s again. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, there it is. It popped out. We got ourselves a dime with this. I think it's going to be mid to 20, 28. Mid 20s that goes up. We got ourselves another dime for the collection, boy. If you haven't moved, but maybe, uh, kind of worked around these five trees in this little corner. We've already gotten this much, so we're and we haven't even worked this middle section. It's going around the edge, but this is going to be a good day. <laughs> these pigeons are awful brazen around here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's why I was up in the 30s. We got a 50... 50 cent. 50 cent. We'll take those. We like finding two quarters at once. Saves our effort time. <laughs> Keep going, guys. You feel him scraping. There he is. All right. We got another state quarter. So all three of those are state quarters. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Fish it out. Two finger fish. All right, we got a spread eagle. That's our only one. 1981, we'll take that. This thing came up as a penny, so I didn't film it, but a pen with the uh, wings or military ranking. I'll have to ask my little brother what that is with the four stripes in the star. All right, we'll keep going on. That's a pretty cool little find here. We're right out by the uh, Air Force Base. All right, guys, we got another dime. We'll take it. Nice Roosevelt. He was down there a little ways. All right, guys, we got us a copper penny in 1962. All right, guys, we got a circus fight. Eh, not quite sure what that one is, but hey, whatever. We'll take circus finds. All right, guys, I brush this. I can see this one. Oh yeah. Oh, he got it thwacked by the lawnmower. He's a tough one. Still counts as a quarter in my book. Yeah. All right, guys. I was just digging. This is my first hard bracelet. I found chain bracelets. This is a uh, ring up high 20s. So, could be silver, but I don't think so. That little banding could be silver. We're going with copper for that number, though. We'll have to straighten that out, though. That'll be a nice little bracelet. Give that to my daughter. See how she likes it. All right, guys. We got uh, two A10 warthogs coming into land out there. Oh, we're metal detecting the other one. Some back there he comes in. It's taking a little further. Been having jets fly in from Area 51 all day fighter jets. Hopefully some show up on the uh, other footage. Here he comes. He's coming out of the trees there. You can see the silhouette of the A-10. Here he goes, going to land out at the base. Alright guys, here we go with the wrap-up. This is a pretty wild day from trying to do a home site where we found this really old uh, door handle. We found a lot of batteries hit that park. Man, we thought we were going crazy. We were going to have a ring fiasco. We were going to beat our ring record of one day of five. Boy, we spent all day there. Spent an extra hour and a half trying to find that sixth ring. 
It just did not happen. But these are mostly bling that one's costume. Yeah, that guy's brass, but probably by the time we got them all fixed up, that's just a kid ring. This is lucky. It wasn't so lucky. A uh, little heart ring. Really nice. And then that one's a silver ring. I believe it does say 95 on the inside of it somewhere. I'm going to straighten it out here. And then this big old, I'm guessing, copper bracelet. Very interesting. How you could lose that and it fall in the grass and... It was actually in the ground, so pretty cool find. We got three dollars and quarters, two dollars in dimes, eh, only ten cents in nickels, and we got twenty-three pennies and a wheat cent. Or not a wheat cent, a uh, Canadian penny. There, we'll get a close-up picture, but we got that little pin too. A little, uh, we were out kind of by the Air Force, by uh, Nellis Air Force Base, so. Got some surface finds, of course. Uh, I'm muffin there. Cleaned her up. Anyway, we will uh, be grateful to have you guys along with the hunt, and we'll see you at the next one. Click like and subscribe, and have a good day.